My computer's overheating, so let's hope that lo that the 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 the, the 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 bay thing doesn't take too long. I hate this. It's just a heat wave out of nowhere in the middle of, in just the beginning of September. Hey, dude. Hello. How's uh work? <laughs> like I can hold my hand over my computer, and there's just a heat coming off it, and that's oh, cha! I can almost boil water on this. I refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. Ah, oh, poor guy. Am I? How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm, like, super tired. Because of everything in my life in exa is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner. Even though I'm the one employee, I don't not even own this store. Huh, weird. If I for some reason you own this place now. You think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin. Using the materials and tools in the store. And bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm going nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So, are we doing this? Give me a hot minute. I need to turn something off. Not sure. Gotta go. No. Let's hang out. Germ. Hey, May. Hey, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ is helping move stuff under the table. For under the table. Ah, oh, that's great. Well, I'm not gonna have work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Why is Nate looking like that? Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers! Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails! Alright then. <sighs> He's like out of some children's book. Oh, whatever the hell he is. Dinner at base. Be ya! Do you wanna be my over? This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kinda. Food! You know, no one who works here had anything to do with any of that. True. Donkey. True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab a couple of things for dinner. Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what you have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? I, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. Yeah. Oh, oh god damn. Really? Why is this person bothering? Get out of here, Zyla. Shoo. I thought I, I thought I wouldn't have to put it off because like no one was around. I'll pick up what we eat then. Uh, wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides? Fancy. What counts as a main course? Uh, we can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, you hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, man. Just come on. You can have a dessert as an adult. Also, Dan says it's broccoli. Also, no shoplifting this time. Aw. I can afford full groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. We got Tash, we got Gb, and we got that, uh, I'm kind of vibing with Gb. Great Britain here is vibing, but Sokotash, Sokotath, no. Greeny beanies, oh, I love green, they're, they're all right, greeny beanies are fine. Cream of chicken soup, no, 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 we're already getting meat, so we need to get something a little bit easier on the stomach. Delish. We got mac and cheese, good old mac and cheese, no. Not with green beans. Tasty taters. No. Mashed potatoes. Mmm, I don't know. Nice rice. Mmm, with green beans? You know, that's not a bad combo. Let's go with green beans and rice. Cream spinach? It's a little too much green. Biscuits. No, let's 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 see what we got over here. Should I get baky shaky? Go with that. What the fuck is baky shaky? What is Bakey Shaky? I mean, if we're getting meat, I guess? We already got rice. I mean, we got rice. 
We got rice, we got green beans. We got bakey shaky, which goes all meat. I guess you can just kind of keep it keep it healthy tonight. Just just make it a healthy night, you know? Just just make it nice and healthy. Nothing, nothing too fancy. You know, we got we got our we got our we got our greens. We we got our 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 our, our calories and uh, we got our our meat. We could use some fruit, but you know, it's it's a dinner, who cares? My dad works at the deli. We should go for the meats. Okay. I love <laughs> Why am I so in love with Bay? Like with the little arm, like like, May is, like, running like a protagonist, and Bay is like, yeah, we're going places, I guess. <laughs> oh, ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, Bay. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Helps uh, to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best dishes. Dishes. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armstead. Looks like his job is to say hello to people. Yep, it's called a greeter. I know I recognize him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you two lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? All right. Can I get something for you ladies? One of your best fishes. Mm, mm, no. Ooh. Not beef. No ground beef. Now chicken. Chicken goes all right. Oh. What do I want? Do I want to pull the vinegar out of these meats? I... Like, fish is a good classic. But it's a really healthy meat. And you shouldn't eat too much of it. Oh, it's actually mixed up now. Cool. Um, I mean, pork chops is expensive. We already got a lot. And it's a pretty heavy meat. So let's go for just for chicken, you know? Let's go for light, nice and light and fluffy chicken. We already got the bakey shaky. We don't need the extra calories. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go for some, some classic improvisational Eastern dishes. <laughs> bay, May, May, you should come for dinner by sometime. At Ham Panther? No, at home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That's how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep moving. All right, ladies. Let's see what you all got. Hmm, hmm, yes, okay. Looks uh, completely 100% okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. I would love to buy some stupid stuff and see what he says, but unfortunately, this is not gonna happen. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm isn't valid. Shopping is fun. Hey, people used to hunt for their food, lady. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> so much sarcasm. I love how they keep reusing the car scene. They're so proud of it. My computer is now 100 degrees Celsius. I can officially boil water. No, it's not that hot. Dinner time. Yeah, this is okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks? You did fine, May, thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. I'm really good <laughs> food. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got a really good grade in Omeg in high school. I made the shirt. <laughs> hey, hey, you fix my pants. Any money in it? Dad, we can get you some new pants. Oh no, Bay! For oh, Bay! No, you're responsible for your dad's finances. Don't tell me that Bay is responsible for it. it. Like it's it's just a dismissive comment, right? She's just like, no, don't worry about it, right? It's not like her dad. She, oh, oh, that'd be so painful if she looks like the earner in the house and he does nothing. Oh, I just know that just causes friction. She's just up shit creek if that's the case. Let's say positive. So yeah, we're all paid up until the fifteenth next month. All right. That rock's all sorted. Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Uh, okay, I need you to sign some things. Let me left them on the bar. I think I might just go get them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't. Beatrice, whose name's on? Oh no, he owns the store. 
Ah, ah. I like how she has three and he has four of those little things in the back of the head. The teeth are also different too. That's really cool. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. May, if you are not an idiot, you'll notice that this is called financial tension and you shut the fuck up when this is happening. Smelter's playing tonight. Uh, we're gonna hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. You could have at least paid May. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this place just reeks of. Oh, come on. Smelters, huh? You fun? Like hockey? Hockey. What? That's not like about hockey. Bunch of press around on ice skates. They're beating the living crap out of each other. Uh, can't get too excited about a puck. But but it's like expected that someone's gonna be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is, how is what I described not sportsmanship? Uh, May, you're an adult. He doesn't care anymore. His niceties to children has evaporated. Oh, the little little brokenness on the wall. Oh, please, Bay. Oh. Oh. You know, Lori M had like these undertones, but this is just straight up getting slapped. <sighs> Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty good record player. So, don't bring up the old room. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom's in them. <laughs> So retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That was our. That's how retro works. So I got a question. Mm -hmm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Some administrative stuff. He hires the repair guys, and he sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. But that's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. Meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep, welcome to capitalism, May. Eh? Just because it's your dad doesn't mean he stops being a capitalist scumbag. Rise up against the oppressor. You have nothing to lose but your chains. Except the fact you have to kill your fucking dad, which to me is kind of a big ask. And, and, working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I should have asked about the old room. I'll probably just quit. Yeah, but that's like May. Or like, take over the store. Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces. <sighs> Is this really the road you want to go down with this? Uh, no. This is like the the bad May answer. Quit? Really? Just quit? You're, you're seriously detached from reality. You're doing all this work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. What? <clears throat> you heard me. Look, May, she's sleeping on a cot, at best. What's your problem? Here's a reality check for you. You pro- you know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the store? Yeah? You met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no. And he told me not to be alone with him. What the- I don't follow. <sighs> he was a creep, May. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads the repair team. Since my dad barely does anything. And Creek's got a family. He needs the work. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting those dudes off the hook... Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, Bay. You're like, badass and shit. Y y you... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I, I, uh... You are such a shithead, you know that. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, I told you to go there. Oh, uh, what the hell? A lot of times people can't just choose to do whatever it is that you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times, people have to do things they do because they can't do anything else. Now, there is an ancient Chinese saying that says, Fuck no. You always have a choice. 
It's just that a lot of the choices available to you look terrible. You can kill your dad. You can walk up to him at night and put a fucking knife in his throat. Problem solved. But now you've got a dead dad, and you're probably going to get arrested. But it was a choice you could make. You can run away. Take all the money and things you can, and just fuck off to a place that has better jobs than Possum Springs. Wouldn't be easy, but she has a car. She can do this. She can leave Possum Springs if she really wanted to. And this is important. If you hang out with Greg, I think it comes up with him. It might come out elsewhere. Greg and Angus are gathering up finances to leave Possum Springs. They are, if you want to be a big rich, they're sort of the communist idea of you always have a choice to resist the system and do something else with your life. Bay has kind of resigned to this because of the whole concept of the, the conservative idea of family comes first. Even if that family is a shithead and exploiting you and a capitalist bastard, it doesn't matter. He's family. He signs the checks. There's this problem and Bay is kind of the depressive route you take when this town goes to shit. Says the child woman with no job, no rent, no responsibilities, and no consequences for your stupid actions. I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lot side. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who's both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start a big drama and make your life more stressful? It's just not right what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Well, that is what I'm saying. It's just not right. Yeah, it isn't. Nothing's right. The whole effing world isn't right. Like, Craig's probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now, and I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. You're probably the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you did those days. I worked a good six hours before you even woke up and came home each night after you were ev and after you and I were done to pay bills and figure out how we're making next payroll while Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. No, May, you should probably start crying again. <laughs> you should go. May. For the love of God, do not take this into your own hands. Do not talk to Dad. You are not the person to settle this argument. You can leave me. You can pretend this never happened. You can pick the Bay route. Or you can do what you claim you believe in. Chicken dinner. Like mom. Oh. Ooh. I should turn the TV off before I go. Football! <laughs> That's the wrong amount of pins on his head. Oh, that was heavy, but, um... That's, uh... Oh, it's the little man who got flattened. <laughs> Meats! My parents forgot me. Yay. 